Hey guys, welcome back. I have something amazing for you. You just wait. My nails are naked, but not for long because, okay, so I've been wanting to do this for so long and I've been trying to find companies to work with me on it. But what I've got here is a Canadian dip company. That's right, especially they are international and they will ship international. And I know I have a lot of Canadian followers. This is 10 by Tina. I know, I didn't tell you. <laughs> I have a lot of Canadian followers and a lot of international followers. And I know it's so difficult for some of you guys to find affordable quality products and not have to pay a whopping shipping fee for it. So 10 by Tina was so kind and sent me over a bunch of stuff to play with. And she is sponsoring a giveaway and the giveaway is international. Giveaway is going to be for a uh, kind of like a store credit, if you will. You can go shopping, pick out your own stuff and she'll ship it right to you. I will leave all the details down in the giveaway box, the giveaway box, <laughs> the description box. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, but to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, comment down below on the best way to reach you should you win the giveaway. That can include your email address, your Facebook messenger name, uh, your Instagram handle. Uh, it is incredibly tedious for me to scroll through hundreds of comments to find a winner on YouTube in comments. So please don't tell me to reach you here. I won't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. Oh, real quick. Um, this is not her requirement. It is mine, so don't come for her. You can come for me if you want to, but I highly doubt you will. Um, one last requirement for the giveaway is jump over to Instagram and give her a follow. She's also on YouTube. She doesn't do a whole lot of nails that I know of, but I know she does a lot of announcements, new releases, collection swatches, and stuff like that. So I'll leave all of her info down in the box in case you are interested. So I this took me a while. It took me a good long while to figure out what it is that I really wanted to do and I know you guys were probably expecting me to <laughs> go with like the blue and just do blue. But I am finding more recently that when I do product reviews, I don't like doing just or a quote, quote review, you know, like a first impressions. I don't just want to do a basic mani. I always want to do something a little bit, I don't know, I don't want to say extra, but I want to give you guys something exciting. I don't know if this is exciting or not, but interesting and maybe educational, informative to watch while I'm doing a first impressions type video. So I'm going to do a little ombre and I'm not going to use that blue because <laughs> I, you know what? It's like my, I don't know, my normal MO to grab a blue because blue is like my favorite color. I love the way it looks. I'm, uh, you know me, I love my blue nails. I will leave a blue ombre up in the cards for you guys if you want to check that out. It is when I had um, long extensions and it was one of my favorite sets that came out beautiful. This one comes out gorgeous. You guys just wait. Um, we'll tell you just about the products in general. The powders are super soft. They were a breeze to work with. You're going to see here in a bit, they ombre really beautifully together. And she does not, that I know of, carry liquids yet. I think she only has the powders and she has some really gorgeous ones. So definitely hop over there and check it out. So I grabbed that little like baby pink, if you will. Promise you that brush is not contaminated. It is just stained because I do a lot of ombres. <laughs> so I'm going to dive right into application. Um, wasn't quite sure how I wanted to do this. I'm going to start here with the ombre just to get that kind of out of the way. And then if you want to fast forward, I'll leave timestamps. If you want to fast forward through the just very basic general dip application type stuff, feel free to do that. If you are new to my channel, hi, hello, I am Marla Chris. This is what I do. I'm not a professional. I'm a DIYer. I am not licensed or trained formally in any way, shape or form. I am a full-time student, a full-time mom, full-time cat mom. <laughs> I do nails as a hobby. Um, definitely consider subscribing if you like what you see. And if you like the video and you want to see some more content just like this, give me a thumbs up so I know you liked it. So I'm doing a tap ombre. Um, I really wanted to do a scrub, but because that gray is so light, I wasn't sure if it would scrub well over the pink. I'm, I'm fairly certain it would have, but I figured I just did a scrub ombre. That's the video I referred to earlier. So let me try and do a tap ombre with these. And I could not believe how easily and seamlessly and perfectly these ombre together. I just, I love them. And one more thing I wanted to mention quickly about 10 by Tina. 
since I received the products, we've been corresponding back and forth via Instagram DM. And I gotta just tell you, she is one of the most kick-ass human beings I've spoken to in a very long time. I love her to pieces. She's she's one of us. She's a part of the Manny fan, matter of fact. Like, and I was just so excited to get to know her a little bit and get to know about her company. And she's a super small business, like itty bitty. And you guys know how much I love that. I love supporting small business and I love sharing things with you guys that are accessible. So again, this is a Canadian company. They ship international and I'm super excited for one of you guys to win a nice little store credit from her. I can't wait. So you guys saw me do my first layer coat, what have you. I'm going to go ahead and do another one. I may do three. I don't remember. I filmed this a little bit ago and <laughs> I'm just now getting to voiceover, but um, what I'm going to do for the second coat is I'm going to start with the pink since I started with the gray first and I feel like alternating the colors like that gives much more of a faded ombre effect in the center of the nail. Uh, it's going to look a little janky for a little bit um, until you clear cap and file and all that stuff, but trust the process. It will work. If this is your first ombre that you're seeing, um, Godspeed. They're not easy. They're really not. And I hate when I see people, especially like Manny fam people in my Facebook group, get so frustrated and discouraged because they're trying to do an ombre or any kind of nail design or ombre, marble, color blocking, what have you. And you're like, I can't do it. Girl, you got to practice. These things are not easy. I've been doing, I've been doing my own nails for probably close to two years and I do them all the time. When I say all the time, all the time, especially recently. I don't, I've been on a roll with uploading lately. It's something I, I really love. I really enjoy. And it's funny because I put a poll up in my Facebook group and I asked the Manny fam if you guys would want to see more uploads or if y'all were getting sick of me. <laughs> I get sick of myself, so I couldn't even blame you. Um, but I, I, I love it. And I had so many of you guys commenting that, you know, I, I shouldn't overdo myself. I don't overdo myself. Overdo it. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> and, you know, I have to take a break and whatever, whatever. And this is something I enjoy. This is my self care. This is my me time. I'm going to do my nails anyway, you know, so why not film it and share whatever I'm doing or what I'm thinking with you guys. So that's the story there. I have completed my second layer and here's what it's looking like right now. See how soft and subtle that blend is in the center. It's going to get even better. I wanted to mention also, because I hear some of you guys say this very often, how I quote, make things look easy. And I wanted to make sure that you knew, <laughs> because we're going to be honest here. I um, don't breathe when I'm doing nail designs like this. I don't. I sit there in complete stillness, especially I'm not using my non-dominant hand today. I'm using my dominant hand. I'm right-handed, but especially if I'm using my non-dominant hand, oh girl, I don't breathe at all. <laughs> I don't breathe. I don't move. If something happens, like if a cat jumps on my nail desk, which happens often, everything's paused. Huh? Get it? Paused. <laughs> that was horrible. Anyway, yeah, I don't, I, it's not easy. It's not. I realize I make it look like that, um, but it's not not even a little bit. So I went ahead and kept in clear. And in case you are new here or new to dip and you don't know why I kept in clear, I'm going to tell you why. Capping in clear is something I make a habit of, out of doing over every single Manny. Okay. Maybe like 99.9% .9 of the time I'm capping in clear, especially for an ombre nail, because if you go to file or buff or both this nail and you don't cap in clear, you do run the risk of filing off some of that gray and pink dip powder uh, and it may ruin the effect of the ombre so I play it safe and I cap and clear I do it over every nail uh, it also gives your nail strength because clear acrylic is more more stronger what stronger <laughs> in nature than pigmented acrylic or glitter acrylic dip powder is acrylic by the way same thing um, so yeah so I cap and clear for literally every single mani that I do just to give myself added strength, protect my color. And I have peace of mind knowing that I can file out any ickiness that I may have caused lumps, bumps, ridges, divots, weird nonsense. And my color is going to be fine because I kept in clear. Um, I'm going to have all the products I'm using listed down in the description box for you guys. I busted out my triple vitamin base. I think that's what I was using. 
See the triple vitamin or eye gel beauty? I'll have it like down there for you guys. Um, we'll let you guys watch as I speed through the rest of this mani. And then I'm gonna come back, give you all my final thoughts, remind you about the giveaway. I'm really living now. I know I've yapped a lot. <laughs> I had to do an ombre on my thumb too because it came out that good uh, what I wanted to actually tell you guys was I have I think I'm pretty sure depending on shipping time and all that stuff I will have a video coming up on a UK based gel polish company which I know some of you guys are gonna be super excited about uh, again I'm not entirely sure when that's gonna be uploading because I believe they shipped me out of my PR box but it's shipping international so who the heck knows when it'll show up especially with ups not ups usps man that i i i have such a respect and appreciation for what they do i can only imagine their job is awful especially where i live in florida and it's summer storm season and i can't imagine being in in an open vehicle probably with very little efficient air conditioning when the thing is open on like two sides I, I just, uh, uh I, I have such a respect and appreciation for them. But <laughs> that being said, I am impatient and I often forget that I even ordered stuff. So maybe it'll be a surprise eventually at some point. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, wanted to tell you that. So I will have that coming up. It's a company called Candy Coat. You can go check them out. Um, I'll leave their website down in the below, down in the below. What? I can't even talk today. Down in the box for you guys. Um, and hopefully that'll be up soon. Fingers crossed that it makes it here eventually at some point. Um, I'm gonna let you watch me finish up the rest of my nails. There are only two left, so it shouldn't take too long. And I'll come back with you guys for my final thoughts.
So I did go ahead and file and buff off camera. I know I've been doing that a lot lately. If you need a video on how I do e-filing and how I do hand filing, I will leave the two videos up in the cards for you guys. Um, they're pretty, as well, I think they're pretty easy to follow and I, I do talk about why I do a lot of things that I do. So those may be helpful, especially if you're new to doing your own nails. If you're new to using an e-file, it might be helpful. I'm gonna finish up my mani with my IL-21 No Wipe Gel Top Coat for no reason other than it made its way into my rotation because it's pretty freaking awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that on. I love this ombre. You guys know, I've been in an ombre mood for quite a while now. I wanna ombre everything. It just, it looks so, I don't know. Like, I don't wanna call it classy. When I think classy, I think of a traditional French mani. Would you guys wanna see another French mani? I know I've done a few and I'll leave one up here in the cards if you want to watch one. I've done a couple of them, but I I think I might just be in the mood for another one. I don't know, you guys wanna see another one? Or like a non-traditional French Manny? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite French Manny is. Or if you'd wanna see me do something a little non-traditional, like a diagonal line French Manny, like a color block French Manny, or like a V French Manny. Just let me know down below and I will work on that for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my gel top coat. I am using my LED um, Pro Rose Gold Lamp thing <laughs> from iGel Beauty. Um, I'm gonna leave that in the box for you too. I'm also gonna leave in the box, as I always do, my Amazon storefront. I do make a little bitty commission on stuff that you purchase through my storefront, but it does have a collection of pretty much everything that's available on Amazon that I use and love, mostly for my nails. You'll also find like my recording equipment in there, some other, I don't know, weird stuff like my rings that I usually wear are in there. Everything that you guys see or have seen me do, I do add to my storefront. And I do update it pretty regularly. So if you're looking for anything, if you want to stock up on stuff, I will leave everything down there for you. So this is what the Manny looks like after it's done curing. I love it to pieces. It's such a cute color combo. I have a thing with pink and gray. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's me being an 80s baby. I know that's like so 80s, but I love it. I love it, love it. I'm gonna finish up with some Candy Skin Care Cuticle Oil and I'm gonna be on my way to nowhere because I don't go anywhere. I've grown tired of the Walmart people watching. Um, desperate to go out. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys this. I finally went out for the first time. First time since March, a couple of weeks ago. Me and uh, my girlfriend Sarah, we went to Hurricanes. I can't tell you how good it felt to be out you know, we, it was out, outside seating. Don't worry, we weren't in like a closed environment around other people, but it was just so nice to be out and around people and hear music outside and to just be human again. It was amazing. I hope you guys are doing something similar to that, getting out, not being a hermit, not being stuck in the house. Definitely check the description box for all the giveaway details. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will see you in the next vid. Love you, bye.